Hi all. Today let's see how to set up taxes in Odoo 50. Tax can be set for a company, product, and even for an account. There are numerous types of taxes and their application varies greatly depending mostly on your company's localization. So most of your country's taxes are already pre-configured on your database when you install fiscal localization. So you can go to Odoo App Store and just close the apps filter and search for your country. You can install the uh, modules in fiscal authorization package. So here you can view Indian accounting. Like this way you can search for a country and install the package. And it will be automatically installed at the time of database creation when you have mentioned the country name. So first let's configure taxes. For that is open accounting module. And here under configuration you can find the menu taxes. So just click on that and you can find some pre-configured taxes. Uh, so these are configured automatically uh, when you install a localization package. So as I have set up in the localization package, I have some pre-configured taxes, fiscal positions, chart of accounts and legal statements for my country. So Here, let me create a new tax for that. Just click on create button and provide the tax name. So I'm creating a tax GST 14 percentage. Then here we can choose a tax computation. So there are a lot of options available in Odoo, like we can set the tax computation as fix it. So a fixed amount of tax can be set in the default currency and the amount remains the same regardless of the sales price. And we can specify the amount here. That is a tax amount. Then here we have percentage of price. That is a tax amount is computed by multiplying the sales price by the tax percentage. And percentage of price with tax included. Then we can compute the tax using a Python code and the last one is group of taxes. That is a tax is a combination of multiple sub taxes. And here we can add those taxes. So we'll discuss about this group of taxes later in this video. We'll come back to this. Now let's set the tax computation as percentage of price. So let me set the amount percentage as 14. Then here we can choose a tax type. The tax type determines where the tax is selectable. There are three scopes available. One is sales, that is uh, tax will be available on customer invoices, products, customer taxes. Then in the case of purchases, the tax will be available on vendor bills, products, vendor taxes, etc. And when you choose none, a tax cannot be used by itself. However, it can be still used in a group. And here we can set the tax scope. And below you can add definition for your tax. That is allocate with precision the amount of the taxable basis or percentages of the computer tax to multiple accounts and tax grids. So here we can see already uh, two lines are added. Uh, that is for distribution for invoices. One is base and other one is percentage of tax. So the base is a price on the invoice line and percentage of tax is a percentage of the computer tax. And here we can add the account. Then tax grid. So this tax grids are used to generate reports that is tax reports automatically according to your country's regulations. So you can add a tax from here. You can find all the tax name. And here, when you click on the three dot, you can see another field that is tax closing entries. So when you enable this, you can set tax closing entry. And in the same way, you can add uh, distribution for credit notes. 
And if you want to add more lines, just click on this add a line. Then here you can see a tab advanced option where you can set label on invoices like PST accounting percentage. So this will be shown as a label on invoices. That is label of tax. Then tax group. So we can select to which group, uh, to which tax group the tax belongs. And if you want to include an analytic cost, you can just activate this. So the tax amount is assigned to same analytic account as an invoice line. And you can make uh, the tax included in price. And if you want to affect base of subsequent taxes, taxes, you have to enable this option. So that total tax included becomes a taxable basis for the other taxes applied to the same product. Then for Indian accounting, you can see a feature reverse charge. That is, if you enable this, the tax is considered as a reverse charge. So after adding the details, just save the tax. Here you can see tax is created and it has a tax type sales. And you can find the label on invoices, GST 14 percentage. And it's also made active. And if you want to uh, disable, that is deactivate any taxes, you can just click on this. So it won't be available. So in the same way, you can create GST 14 percentage for purchases. So now let's go to configuration settings. And set the default tax for the company. So here you can see default taxes option, which is applied to all local transactions. And here we can choose the tax that we have just created, GST 14 percentage. And you can see GST 14 percentage is not available for purchase. So let's choose another one for purchase tax. Now let's save this. So we have set a default tax for a company. Now let's create a new product. Let me create a product bookshelf. And here we set the product type as storable. And let's add sales price. And you can see what I have set a customer tax for this product bookshelf that is GST 14 percentage. This is because we have set a default sales tax for a company as GST 14 percentage. Now, when you create sale order, By adding the product bookshelf. You can see that customer tax is shown here and you can just remove it from here and add a different tax for this product. And you can also add multiple tax for a product. And after that you can confirm the sale order. So let me update the quantity of this product. Let's make an adjustment. Now you can see quantity is available, enough quantity is available for this product. Again, you can see the default tax 
set for the companies added here. Now let's add some different tags for this product. And from here we can confirm the sale order and create invoice. So invoice can be created uh, like for the order quantity or delivered quantity that depends upon the invoicing policy set on the product. So as it is for order quantity, we can create regular invoice for this product. So here we can find the draft invoice created. And here when you check the journal items, you can find those taxes IGST 1 percentage, IGST 2 percentage, GST 14 percentage. So these are the labels and the labels shown here are the labels that you have set inside the tax configuration. And you can find the accounts affected, the total amount debited or credited. And if you have set any tax grid, that also will be shown here. So for this IGST, you can find tax grid IGST. So these are the tax that we have added before. So these tax grids are useful when you're creating, generating tax report. So that's how we set the default tax for the company. And now let us see what, ha what will happen if I change that tax. Like, I can change this default tax and add a different tax for this product. So I'm adding IDC 2 percentage and DST 5 percentage for the product. Now let me save this and if I create a sale order by adding the product. You can see those uh, taxes are added as default in the order line. So the product tax is taken, not the default company tax. This means that the priority goes to the uh, tax that you have set inside the product form. Now let me open accounting module and here we have our chart of accounts. So let me open an account. You can find an income account locket seals. You can configure this. And here inside the form, you have a field default taxes. So you can set default taxes for this income account. We can choose it from here. I have chosen IGST 20 percentage sales for this account. And after saving this, let us create a new product and see how we can use this. So just add some basic details. So you can see this GST 14 percentage is a default tax set for the company, sales tax set for the company. So now let us check the product category. Here you can find the default income and expense account. So the income account is local sales. And you can also set a different account for your product. Now let us see how group of taxes is created. So here we can click on create. Then here you can choose a tax computation as a group of taxes. So the tax will be a combination of multiple sub taxes and you can add as many taxes you want if you want them to be applied. So here you can click on add a line to add your sub taxes.
So I have added IGST 18 percentage and IGST 12 percentage. You can view the tax computation of these taxes by percentage of price. Then we can set tax type and tax scope for this tax IGST 30 percentage. Now we can save this. So this is how we create group of taxes. So you can see that tax is choosable from the order line. Now we can confirm this. When you check the delivery, you can see the product is not available. So let us update the on hand. Now let's validate the transfer. And create invoice. So here you can see the accounts affected are IGST 18% and IGST 12%. Because we have created a group of taxes, IGST 30% by including these uh, as a sub taxes. Now here we have our accounting. Tax report. So here from the tax report, uh, we can add filters like by default, it is last month. We can change this to this month. And here you can find the tax group IGST. So if we expand this and click on audit, you can find all the general items for tax audit. So here you can find those entries, tax invoices on the count IGST 1%, 2%, and 18%, 12 so if you click on this, you can find the details. And you can also find the total amount on this tax group. So here you can find this 448.50. And we will do a video soon on tax report in order 15. So thanks for watching our video and have a nice day.